Okay, Ruben. I know that we need to have a conversation right now. Let's just get this out in the open because you have been a cranky monster with me this week. And not necessarily it's uh, being undeserved with this, uh, this spite coming towards me. I know right now you seem a little bit relaxed, but you're trying to be aloof. You're trying to separate yourself from your emotions. And I appreciate you doing that. But as you know, I have been off this week. Tyler's been home from spring break. Rachel's been working out of the house, so there's been a lot of people around the house to uh, attend to you, right? You've had, you've had some attention, right? From people other than dad. Well, that's very kind of you to say that, but as you know, when I have some time off and I'm kind of doing a little bit of a staycation, I've got a lot of things to do around the house. I've been power washing, I've been doing the yard, I've been mowing, I've been getting the garden ready, I've been going to Costco like seven times a day to get stuff because that's just what happens. I know, but they don't let dogs in Costco, so I'm sorry. We can't we can't let you go there. But I know that you have had a level of crankiness because I've not been able to attend to you as much as I would like. Is that is that fair to say? Okay. So in fact. One of the things that I was uh, I put together, I was thinking about this, is that you you do, in fact, prove the uh, the, new, the theory. Now this is this is time spent away from the dog, and then the level of dog anger, the T A F D and D A are the two two things that we look at here on this chart. And essentially, Ruben, what we're finding is that the more time away from you, the more cranky that you get. This is a scientific principle which has been proven this week. So actually you've helped me in the science experiment by, by showing that, uh, that I do need to spend less time away from you, more time with you. Even if it is just you know laying next to you as you're napping because I think you like that too. But then I can't get all the stuff I've got to get done. I still got bushes to trim. I still have, I got to go shopping. I, there's, there's a lot of things around the house that need, being, need to be taken care of. And I know you're one of them. But Ruben, I promise you this. I promise you this. Why don't we go ahead and get you outside and get you some fresh air and we'll go from there, okay? I'm not, I'm not making this up. No, this is real. Okay, got a couple days left with you, buddy. Let's make the most of it, all right? Is this better? Ruben, I gave you what you wanted. You wanted to go in the CAR. <coughs> well, you didn't specify actually drive somewhere you just you, look you just said you wanted to go in the car we did that i'm sorry you need to uh, renegotiate the contract dog law will dog law will help you out you talk to them but i've been screwed by those guys too many times until you get it in writing i put you in the car just like we agreed so Enjoy your time there. <coughs> Ruben, I'm sorry. <coughs> All right, look. I've had one adult beverage, <coughs> which means I can't drive you. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Ruben, your objections have been noted. Duly noted, in fact. But I'm going to need you to calm down. Try this. Have a seat. Sit. 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 No? All right. I won't tell you what to do. Okay. Okay. You want Rachel to take you? I might. You want to take him for a drive around the neighborhood, Rachel? Yeah, I could do that. 
Okay, how about that? How about that as a compromise? Your human sister will get her license, get her keys, and go drive you around the neighborhood and give you a ride. Does that work? Okay. I'm glad we had this discussion.